welcome to my channel and to what is actually my first video and for today what I really want to do is try and make a pair of DIY sock blockers. Now the emphasis is on try because I haven't made these before and yeah I'm not entirely sure how successful they'll be but we're going to give them a go and we're going to see. The reason why I want to make sock blockers today is because hot off the needles I've very recently just finished this really really gorgeous pair of Into the Woods socks by um, Mandarines. I'll give you a quick look and you can see they're a really interesting um, texture and this textured part is worked over sort of a few different rows and I really really enjoyed it. Um, the knit, I think that they knit up really well in this very, very sweet colour. The only issue is there does seem to be a little bit of bunching and sort of unwanted texture around this part. And what I would really like to do is get these onto a blocker and see if I can't um, give them quite a stiff block and get some of this texture out. I have had a look on the internet for a set of sock blockers the only thing is they're all about sort of 30 35 euros a lot of them are sold out as well the ones that i like from little yarn shops around here and i just don't really want to spend 35 euros on a pair of plastic sock blockers not at the moment anyway so i thought why not try and make it and see if i can't make these socks look a little bit better things that you'll need are sort of something to write with and a piece of cardboard or paper because what you're going to do is you're going to trace your foot onto this and take a few measurements. Now to take your measurements you will of course need a tape measure. I'm going to be using a tape measure, you could probably also get away with using a ruler, I don't think it really makes a difference. The actual sock blocker itself is going to be made out of firm cardboard and I emphasise firm because I reckon if you use something that's a little bit too soft, I guess. It will bend when you put the sock on because, yeah, these are quite stretchy, but something that isn't really quite firm, it's just not gonna hold up when this is on it. So yeah, my choice of cardboard is the uh, box that the very nice man from Amazon delivered to me yesterday. Um, and yeah, you can see this is quite a stiff cardboard, so I reckon it will work. I have also seen people make these out of placemats. Now, I thought about doing it out of placemats, but again, around here, in the centre of Rome, it's just not that cheap to buy a set of placemats. Anyway, where is an IKEA when you need one? Moving on. The other thing that you'll need, that I don't have in front of me at the moment, but I will grab, um, is a fairly full roll of tape because what we're going to do is we're going to sketch around my foot on the thinner piece of card or paper we're going to get some measurements of my foot and then I'm going to try and sketch the sock blocker shape onto this cut it out test it on the sock and then we're going to transfer that shape onto my stiff Amazon box cardboard chop that out and then cover it in tape so it should be waterproof when these are freshly washed and ready to block. So my first step was to trace out my foot um, all the way around, up around my toes to get the length and width of my foot to make my sock blocker the right size. Now here, for some bizarre reason, I seem to think that I have to cut into this piece of paper. Um, as I soon realise, no, I don't cut this one. But yeah, here you can kind of see the cogs in my brain turning as I'm wondering whether I've messed it all up. Okay, put the scissors down. What I'm actually supposed to do with this section is I have to get my tape measure or ruler. Ruler would probably be better actually because it would stay in place. And I need to measure the width and the length of my foot because these will inform how wide and how long I need the foot part of my sock blocker, blocker to be. Uh, 
and here I've got a different piece of card which is another ripped up bit of Amazon box and I am just about to start tracing the sock blocker shape using the measurements that I just took of my foot. So I'm here measuring out the length of my foot and tra tracing what is the foot curve, I suppose. Um, I don't really know what else to call it, so we're going to go with that for now. And the thickness here needs to correspond with the width measurement that I took of my foot. This way, every time I block a pair of my own socks, it should be exactly the right shape. I'm just sketching out the rest of the foot, now I've got the measurements down, and it is looking pretty odd, a bit of a club foot at the moment. However, this is just the template, and I'll sketch onto the hard cardboard to improve the shape in a moment. The shape is slightly off, but I can um, enlarge it and make it fit to my sock once I've tried it on. So okay, I've got my sock, I'm just going to pop this piece of cardboard into the sock to see where I need to change the size or the shape. Do you have a bit of drooping that can be seen here at the toe? Um, but I reckon what I'll do when I trace this onto the big cardboard um, I'll just make the toe section that little bit bigger because up here it's it's kind of all right Okay, now sort of the moment of truth to see whether I was sort of at all remotely capable of increasing the size to meet what I need for this. So here we have the one I originally cut out um, that wasn't quite big enough and it had a lot of droop at the end of the foot. And here we have the bigger one, which is quite monster in comparison really. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that this is gonna work. Let's see. Okay. Now there is no graceful way, I don't think, to put a sock onto one of these. So let's not sugarcoat it to them. This is probably a little bit of a better fit. Maybe even still a touch short, but what do you reckon? Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. It's not perfect. I could have a touch more length at the tip, but I think that that will do, actually, for these, and hopefully it will improve them a bit after they've had a wash. Now that I've tested this, and I'm quite happy with the size, I just have to trace this onto another one or another three because I could actually make the cardboard thickness double but yeah so I'll go and chop that out and once that's done we are ready to tape them together and then our sock blockers will be ready for washing. Now for my next trick I'm going to transform these four pieces of cardboard into two thicker ones that will really pad out my sock when it's on them. I do recommend that you do what I'm doing now, which is taping the two pieces together before you really start sort of wrapping it round and round. The taping doesn't have to be perfect, I am such an impatient person, so I thought I would just try and wrap it round. 
This is a little bit haphazard and doesn't produce a particularly smooth result, but it does get the job done and I'm just too impatient. You want to shape it a bit around the foot because the foot can be a bit tricky. Yet yeah, here I took a little bit of a break and I came back and I managed to calm down and tape in a little bit of a more orderly way. This does actually produce a smoother and much better result that won't get snagged on the socks when you take them on and off the blocker. Ta-da! <laughs> okay, so finally um, they are done. Um, as you can see, this is a slightly haphazard one. Uh, I don't actually recommend this technique of wrapping the tape around. I think that the slow and steady sort of one by one ripping looked a lot better. They feel quite sturdy because of the two pieces of cardboard together where there are any bends in the cardboard that sort of compensated for that. And in fact, I have put one on already, so I'll just show you that. And as you can see, the fit really is quite nice. Um, hopefully this will work for most of my socks considering I'll be making this size going forward. You can just see that it displays your sock quite nicely. I reckon after um, washing, when they dry on these, it should actually help it hold its shape, just like a traditional sock blocker. I mean, fingers crossed. And um, yeah, they just look really sweet. I wouldn't mind putting these sort of in my Instagram. Nobody has to see the top mummified Amazon box part. You can just hide them in like that and they look quite sweet. Does anybody else love how therapeutic it can be to wash knitwear? I don't know what it is, but since I've started knitting, I've just found that I really, really enjoy it. And this is one of my favourite little hacks that I've learned about fairly recently, and that's using a bit of shampoo instead of wool wash. I find that it makes my knitwear smell just as nice, and it makes the fibre just as soft. Just lying out a fresh towel to put the sock on. I like to put my knits onto the towel just so that I can wrap them quite tightly and squeeze out all of that extra excess water. I find that doing this helps them dry a lot quicker and also allows them to maintain their shape better when they're drying. Yep, just roll it up quite tight like a burrito and then squeeze out all of that excess which goes straight into the towel. So now I'm going to put the wet sock onto the actual blocker and I'm hoping that it will fit okay with no snags despite my slightly messy taping. the next evening and I just want to show you how the block has gone with this sock on the blocker. I washed it yesterday evening and um, yep it's been drying all evening and all morning today and you can see that the stitches really are looking quite lovely. The texture here has improved quite substantially so that's the blocked one and this was the original texture that I was getting around the leg of the sock. Quite bunched and just not holding that classical sock shape. Now the real test is not of course how it looks on the blocker but how it looks once I've slipped the sock off the blocker so that's what we're going to have a look at right now. And here you go. You can see that it's held this traditional sock shape. It has just evened out those stitches nice and consistently all the way down. Overall, the result is a much more classic sock shape in comparison to the unblocked sock, which looks something like that. Yeah, I mean, the side by side really does show it all. This was a bit of an odd, non-tutorial tutorial sort of video. I hope that you find it useful, and um, if not useful, at least a little bit interesting. Yeah, happy knitting, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!